Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to pass or get data from view to controller in ASP.NET MVC. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. So first I'm creating a model class. You can see I've created a class person model inside the models folder. So the very first property is person ID, which is an integer property. The second property is name, which is a string property. The third property is gender, which is also a string property. The last and the fourth property is city, which is a string property again. So with this, our model class is complete. Now let's move to the controller. So this is a controller. I have named it home. Now I'm creating an action result method inside the controller. This particular method will handle the post calls. That is when a particular form is submitted using a submit button, the values will be received by this particular method. And hence it is marked with HTTP POST attribute. As you can see here, I am accepting a model class object of the person model class. That means the values of the form will be received through the model object. Here I am creating variables to extract the values from the model class so that I can show you how to fetch values from the model class. Now a question will come into your mind that why a model class object is used and how this particular model class object will be filled with values when the form is submitted. So the answer is that when we'll create fields inside the form that time will bind the fields along with the model class properties. For example, if we create a text box for name, it will be bound to the name property of the person model class. So with this, we are done with our index action result method. Let's move to the view. So first I'm creating a view. I am selecting the empty option. And then in the model class field, I'll be selecting the person model class. Now I'll click on add. So the view has been created and in the very first line, the person model class has been defined as the model for the view. Now here I have pasted some CSS classes for the HTML table. Now I'm creating a form using MVC HTML helper methods. I'm making use of begin form method. It accepts three parameters. The first one is name of the action result method, which is index. The second one is name of the controller, which is home. And the third one is the type of call. In this scenario, it is a post call. Now inside these brackets, I'll create a HTML table. And within the HTML table, I'll place my fields. So the very first field is person ID and in order to create a text box for this particular field, I am making use of text box for helper method of the HTML helper class of MVC. Here I am making use of Lambda expression and I am pointing it to the person ID property of the person model class. So this way I am informing MVC that this particular text box will set the value inside the person ID property of the person model class. So in similar way for name field also, I'll create a text box and bind it to the name property. Now for the third field gender, 
I'll be making use of a drop down list field and hence I'll be making use of drop down list for method of the HTML helper class. Here in similar way like the text box for function I'll have to bind the property and then I'll have to add the list items of the drop down list. So for adding the list items I'll be making use of a generic list collection. So as you can see, I have created a generic list of select list item class and in that I am adding two objects. The first object is for the first option which is mail. The text I am setting as mail and the value I am setting as m. In similar way, for the second option I am setting the text as female. and the value as f. Now the third parameter of the drop down list for function is the default value. So I am setting the default value as please select. Now finally I am moving on to the last property city. For city I will be adding a text box. Again I will be making use of text box for function and in similar way I will be binding the city text box with the city property. Now I am adding a submit button which will be used to submit the form. I am making use of input type equal to submit. So that's it. Now our form is completed. Here I am adding a breakpoint in order to show you the values. Now let's run the code. So the form is now displaying. Let me add some values. I am adding the person ID, name, I am selecting the gender, then city. Finally, I am clicking the button. As you can see, the form values have been submitted and received through the model class object. In the quick watch window, you can clearly see the values which we had entered in the form. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Today, we learned how to send values from view to controller using model class and form submission. Also we learned how to create fields using helper class methods and also how to bind them to the properties of the model class. The link for the source code is available in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.